Archie Harrison will be joining his parents Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as they undertake a royal tour of Southern Africa this autumn. Speaks to an immunization specialist about the jabs baby Archie will need to have before he can visit Africa. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was welcomed into the world by his parents, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, on May 6 of this year. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced at the end of June, when baby Archie was not even two months old, the family planned to take a royal tour as a family of Africa in the autumn. There are a number of vaccines that are required for travel around South Africa, which means baby Archie will need to have a number of injections before the age of six months. So what immunizations will baby Archie be getting for the family's trip to Africa? In late June, the Duke and Duchess shared the news they intended to undertake a royal tour of Southern Africa as a family in the autumn. The couple posted the news on their social media account, which read, TRH The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are excited to announce that they have been asked to carry out a tour to Southern Africa this autumn. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office have requested a visit to South Africa as well as the Duke carrying out visits to Malawi and Angola. His Royal Highness will also do a short working visit to Botswana en route to other countries. The Duke and Duchess are really looking forward to meeting so many of you on the ground and continuing to raise awareness of the high impact work local communities are doing across the Commonwealth and beyond. This will be their first official tour as a family. Robert Bradshaw, a pharmacist for the Frost's Pharmacy Group which operates three walk-in travel clinics, said, it is important to stress that this is general advice based on the countries being visited and the age of the patient, assumed to be around six months at the time of travel. General advice cannot take the place of a bespoke consultation with a travel health professional, pharmacist, trained travel nurse or doctor, who will discuss the patient's specific situation, health needs, travel itinerary and so on. For traveling to Malawi, Angola, and Botswana, which have been confirmed destinations by the couple, Mr. Bradshaw said the following vaccinations are recommended. Mr. Bradshaw said it is likely baby Archie has already had polio, tetanus, and MMR vaccinations assuming the royals are vaccinating as per NHS schedules. However, there are some of the recommended immunizations that baby Archie is too young for. The yellow fever vaccination is not suitable for children under 9 months of age, so a child under nine months will need to have bite prevention measures. Mr. Bradshaw said, bite prevention measures include DEET 50% for example, jungle formula, this is suitable for two months plus. It is also advised to avoid contact with the baby's eyes, nose, and mouth and apply to parents hand first then carefully apply to baby's skin. It is also best to cover up with long sleeves slash trousers is a must as well as mosquito nets where needed i.e. outside, an air-conditioned room, knockdown spray can be used in the room first to remove any mosquitoes, dot. Archie Harrison is also too young for the hepatitis A and typhoid vaccine, which is only available to children aged a year and over, and two years and over, respectively. Other risks like hepatitis B and rabies are extremely low and so not necessary for a six-month-old, according to Mr. Bradshaw. Mr. Bradshaw said baby Archie is likely to be getting some of his injections now as some vaccinations are administered as a course of injections and as such all travelers should consult a travel professional at least six weeks before travel. Some people have said traveling younger than six months is a big risk for baby Archie, but Mr. Bradshaw says the risk is low so long as preparations are made and undertaken effectively. He added, in theory, you could take a newborn to Africa at one day old. Safety-wise, you would ideally want them to have received all routine immunizations up to 12 months of age to ensure adequate protection prior to travel. The risk of contracting many travel-related diseases such as typhoid, Hepatitis A and traveler's diarrhea can be reduced by following sensible hygiene precautions such as drinking bottled water, using clean water for baby formula. Take care that all food is freshly prepared and fruits are peeled etc. In terms of traveling, the only region of Africa Mr. Bradshaw said was inadvisable to take a newborn is Central Africa due to the heightened risk of Ebola.